Hey, hey y'all, it's Casey from Pizzazz Art Studio and we are back with another little lettering challenge for you. Again, we are challenging ourselves and you to just take 10 minutes, 10 minutes, okay, that's it, 10 minutes to do a little bit of lettering play. So we are gonna set our timer and see if we can do this in 10 minutes or less. We are going to be lettering the phrase, His Mercy Never Fails Me. Again, another lyric from a, uh, a song that I love, also a reminder that I wanna keep in front of me. So let's get going and let's see if we can do this in 10 minutes or less and then if we do one lucky viewer is going to get to win our Tombow markers and a Bristol pad all you gotta do is comment on this video subscribe and like this channel if you've not already done so um, but leave a comment that, that way we know that you're watching and we will draw one lucky viewer to get some Tombow markers and some Bristol paper so let's get rolling all right, so here we are. We're gonna do another fun little lettering something something. Um, I think it's beneficial. I hope it's beneficial for y'all just to watch over my shoulder as I use some simple supplies and just letter. You can do this too. Even if you've never done it before, pick up a pen and do this with us. Try to form the letters with us. I'm gonna set my timer to where it's 10 minutes or less. So that's my promise to you is we're gonna make this uh, less than 10 minutes. Before I get gr go into it, I am using Bristol paper for today's activity. It does not have to be Bristol paper. I just like the thickness and the smoothness of it for um, these markers. I'm gonna be using a black Tombow marker. This is the Tombow dual brush tip markers. And I've got a couple of other colors here that I may use, may not, we'll see. Um, I'm going to letter the phrase, His mercy never fails me. I am loving the song, Goodness of God. It's my little theme song of the moment. Uh, a lot of y'all probably love it too. And one of the lines in there is, His mercy never fails me. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let me set my timer over here. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna think of the layout first, and I know like the words, we have his mercy never fails me, okay? So we've got five words. There's a lot of ways we could do this, but I'm gonna think through, can I put one word on each line? His mercy never fails me, and I think I can, I know I can. So that's how we're going to do it. Now that's not the only way to do it, that's just how I'm going to do it. I'm gonna start with mercy, and then I'm gonna fit his, and I'll just kind of work my way down. Now, why do I do that? I don't even know. I just like, I know that mercy is gonna be one of the focus words, and so I don't want to, um, I wanna start with it right where I want it to be, which is right here. So, here we go. Okay, did you see that that was kind of three individual strokes, okay? So it was one, two, three, okay? All lettering is, is one stroke at a time. And then you put it together, but it's one stroke at a time. So there's M, E, R, that was all combined. C, now let me tell you about this Y. This Y should come down and do something, but I'm gonna wait until I write the word never, just because sometimes I've been known to do the Y down so low that the next word I can't fit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next word and then I'll fit that tail in around that word. So that's just one little tip that has helped me. Um, before I do that, let's go back up here to his. I know that his is a smaller word, so it's gonna be kind of centered right in here. Okay, I'll notice why is that shorter? Because I couldn't go down because of that R. We're always kind of fitting letters into each other. They fit like a puzzle. So, I and S, all right, his mercy never, so, notice it's at an angle, I kind of like my, I like these to be at an angle, my M's and my N's, not straight up and down. Now, I am thinking about this Y, I don't want this to be so close that I have no room for that Y. All right, I'm gonna come back up to the Y now and I'm just going to kind of loop it around here. These do not have to touch. If you want it to touch, you can just draw a line there, but they don't have to. All right, now I'm gonna do fails. For the F, I will tell you a little something that I like. I like this, the, the curve of the F, I like it to not be straight up and down. So I like this. Do 
this right here, see how it's a little bit curved? To me, that gives us a softer look than if I were to go straight up and down with that F. So there's my F, first stroke, second stroke. And here. All right, now obviously the word me is not as big as all of these. So I'm going to fit it in right here and I'm actually doing a capital E right there at the end. I, it's, I don't even know why there's, there's no rules to hand lettering. You might say, why in the world did everything, is everything, you know, cursive and then you just throw in a capital E right there? I really don't know other than it just feels right. It feels like it fits the area. It feels like it fun little unexpected touch. <laughs> so his mercy never fails me. Now the first time you do this, you might not get the spacing just right. Just try it again. That's what this is. You're going to practice, practice, practice. Um, once you get the spacing right, then we're going to go back down and thicken our downstrokes on some of this. So let me just, using the side of that marker, um, just thickening here and there. Some places might not need it as much, or it might, um, if it looks like it's going to cram the space, then I don't always do it. But we're thickening these down strokes. Now if you've watched some of our other videos, we've done several things with, you know, drop shadows or blending, different things, but today we're just focusing on just this one color. I really just want to focus on layout, fitting things in together. There's something fun about the, the black and white contrast. I do have these other pins just in case I want to add some fun stuff like around it on the outside polka dots or whatnot, but for the actual lettering, we are just doing one color. All right, his mercy never fails me. There we go, and we've got plenty of time to spare. So I'm just gonna show you, if, you are, if you're doing this for like a, a framed print or somewhere that you wanna see it, you can always take you some fun colors and do just, you know, polka dots or stripes. You can do whatever you want to around it. It's a fun way to take a black and white print and then just to add some cute little something. All right, so there we go. Plenty of time to spare, seven minutes or less, and you can have a little bit of peace and play in your day. All right, y'all, we did it. I hope you had fun. I hope you are beginning to see, if you've been watching our video series, I hope you are beginning to see that yes, you can create some cool stuff in 10 minutes or less. You can carve out 10 minutes of your day for some peace and play, for some art, for some lettering, for some refocusing your mind on whatever is good and true, uh, you can do it in 10 minutes or less. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you've not already, like it, uh, like this video, and leave us a comment so that we know that you're there and so that you can be entered into the drawing for some Tombow pens and some Bristol paper. All right, y'all, we'll see you next week.